Recently I stumbled upon an interesting and informative YouTube video on the environment that gives information on both sides of the question, is there a climate change crisis? A fella who has studied this subject indicated there is not and what we are being told by many so-called experts is more hype than truth. An example is that while he agreed that the Earth's oceans were being overfished, he saw the answer to be growing more of our fish in fish farms. As far as the sea rising, he reminded viewers that Holland is 9 feet below sea level, surrounded by dikes, and doing fine. Still, the world is changing, and as I delved deeper into his views of how society should face its current challenges I became a bit disturbed. Conceding he was generally a liberal, he espoused the message it would be a win-win for the environment to bring the rest of the world into the modern world and it is our duty to do so. While he didn't just come out and say it, this would address inequality across the world at our expense it, kinda would. To me, this equates to putting us in a row of buildings or little boxes, rationing our food and energy use, and providing people with endless superficial entertainment including virtual travel opportunities and calling the experience life. This promise, where they take away your right to drive or own anything in exchange for more leisure time and less work is a trap well set. Unfortunately, it has the potential to gain traction when put before those on the bottom, often, these people have little to lose. His enlightened take was that by reducing inequality across the world pollution would be substantially reduced. He pointed to the fact that poor impoverished nations tend to pollute more than advanced nations and have higher birth rates. An example of this is how poor nations tend to allow raw sewage, plastic bottles, and more to flow down their rivers and into the sea. He envisioned a world where people would live in cities with reduced environmental footprints and have fewer children, problem solved. The idea expressed in the title of this article dovetails with the view of many global elites that think they can sell the idea the world will be a better place without so much inequality. Sadly, simply giving people the illusion they have a choice is enough to quell the desire for freedom in most people. This is a promise easily broken. Often the choice we are given is akin to choosing the shade of grey that you find least objectionable. Turning our attention to some of the ideas envisioned the World Economic Forum WEF, has floated should heighten our concern. A powerful one became visible when WEF Public Relations released a video entitled, 8 Predictions for the World in 2030. Its 2030 agenda offers a telling glimpse into what the technocratic elite has in store for the rest of us. The, by 2030 you'll own nothing and be happy, message is one of total control and reduced choice cloaked in the promise of, you will be taken care of. All in all, truth has suffered greatly under the hands of expanded government control during the pandemic and so much money is still in the pipeline that it is far from over. Dollars approved but not yet spent mean the distortions we are seeing have yet to be fully realized. Even as you are reading this a great deal of money is flowing into the hands of people that will go ballistic at any effort to end the giveaway. Currently, everything is in play, the views of people are being altered across the board. This is affecting how most people feel about vaccines, cash and banking regulations, the lockdowns, melt-ups in the markets, and more. At this point, it appears the promise of free money flowing off the printing press is winning in the game of controlling the hearts and souls of the masses. The fact that promises are often broken points to a most problematic future. I base much of my opposition to addressing inequality by taking away our options on the following three points. Believing in a myth does not make it so, utopia and unicorns do not exist. The road to happiness will not be achieved by making us all alike or by removing our individuality. At some point, a culling will take place by those in charge or led by artificial intelligence. We have all seen young children grab a toy and scream, mine. Some things fly in the face of human nature and history shows that getting along is not a quality man excels in. The spirit of man does not conform to being boxed in. The fact is we are not all equal and some individuals have far more potential than others. This reinforces the notion any experiment to exhibit control over individuals will end in failure. Many of us that believe there is such a thing as a free lunch. Take the stand that addressing inequality by taking away the options of individuals is a piss-poor way to meet that objective and those creating such a plan live in a, no cake for thee, but cake for me world. I also contend that people will be in no hurry to surrender their materialistic desires, that will only happen when pigs take to flight. This was the survival economist. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe.
And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe, sane, and healthy friends.